Hey everyone, welcome back. Are you ready to do a quick, easy, simple meal? Are you looking for an idea on what can I pull together? How can I do life in the middle of the week when I'm tired and cranky and I just want to make something simple? Well, let's see what we can figure out together. So, so many times I have people say to me, I just don't know what to do. I don't know how to pull stuff together. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And I think what has happened is for many, um, you know, go back two years ago, three years ago, people were used to being able to eat out all the time whenever they felt like it. And then, you know, 220, 2020 hit, and then all of a sudden you couldn't eat in restaurants and you could only do takeout. So I think that deterred some people from maybe not buying in the um, in the restaurants anymore. Then last year things started to switch up a little bit and then you come to this year and now the prices are just high everywhere you go, grocery stores and restaurants. But I think people are really feeling it in their wallets more and more with going to a restaurant. So if you, I mean, you can't live on McDonald's every night. Some people maybe do, but you know, for those that like to eat out a lot, especially if you're a family of one, or three or four. I think a smaller family would tend to want to eat out more. I know when I was single, you know, you just got a group of friends together. You want to go out to dinner Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe one time during the week. We would be eating out three, four, five nights a week. And even just with us being a very busy family, it's the same thing sometimes that we could find ourselves doing that. And I think the prices across the board of restaurants those prices have gone up. So a lot of people are feeling that in their wallets and now they're trying to think, well, what can I cook at home? What's simple and quick and easy? Whether you work full time outside the home or you work full time inside the home, you might be retired and you just don't have it in you anymore to just whip together a quick meal. Or I just find that people just aren't thinking creatively. Like sometimes we complicate things too much. So I'm just coming from a basic, super basic pantry meal that you can pull together if you have a fully stocked pantry. This is not anything that you would give to the Queen of England, but it'll suffice for a family of one or a small family when you're just hungry and you gotta eat and you don't wanna waste a lot of time. So what I did tonight, you saw in the pictures that I had in the beginning of the video. I had two sausages that were frozen solid. I threw them in my microwave and I defrosted them and I took them out of the casing, chopped it up and fried it up. There you go, that was one pot. The other pot, plain old simple, boxed macaroni and cheese. My son prefers the box and not so much the homemade. You can go homemade if you want but listen, if we're doing a quick and easy meal, we can pull from our pantry, whip up together. Box macaroni and cheese takes seven minutes to make. While you're boiling the water for that, you just take your sausage and you just chop it up. And when the macaroni and cheese was all done, you saw me just layer that. I threw in, drained a can of peas, put the macaroni back in the pot, pour the peas on top, pour the sausage on top, added the powdered cheese, a little butter, a little milk, stir that all together, voila, we have dinner. In seven to 10 minutes, you have dinner on the table and you don't have to worry about what am I going to eat tonight? Now, maybe you'll say, I don't eat sausage. Okay, you could put in canned chicken. I don't want chicken, okay? You could put in ham, you could put in tuna, you could put in leftover meat that you have in the refrigerator. You wanna go vegetarian? You could add extra vegetables. You could add chickpeas to that to replace the meat. You could add lentils to replace the meat. You could go very simple and you could go vegetarian 
or you could go a mix. You can have chickpeas and lentils together with a vegetable. Be creative. Your base is the macaroni and cheese. Then I would add whatever vegetables you wanted. Now I went with canned peas because I was pulling from the pantry. I didn't really have anything in the refrigerator I had to use up. So I thought, you know what, go in pantry. That's what it's there for on nights that you just don't always want to cook or the budget's tight and you can't go out, whatever the case might be. I did that. Now what you could do to that also is you could add some bread. My grandmother was always, every dinner, there was always a loaf of bread on the table and a stick of butter. You always had to have something like this and you always had to have bread of some type. Now I was at Walmart and they, you know, sometimes you get tired of just plain old white bread. You know, it's 98 cents a loaf at Walmart and Aldi's and things like that. 85 cents I think at Aldi. But you could go to the bakery and you could get a nice loaf of crusty bread. This was pre-sliced and it's a dollar, one dollar. And that's a good sized bread. If you're a smaller family, take half of it, put it in the freezer, you know, or a quarter of it, keep it out for yourself, freeze the rest if you're a family of one. But treat yourself maybe to something a little different a dollar loaf of bread. Another quick and easy meal. This is five dollars and 46 cents at Walmart. And how many ounces is this? Let me see if I can tell you. This is two pounds of vegetables. You've got your broccoli, you've got cauliflower, and you've got carrots. It's not bad for five dollars and 49 cents for two pounds. So I have a friend, she's a family of one. Her husband passed away a couple of years ago. <clears throat> she says she enjoys a nice breakfast in the morning and usually for lunch she'll have yogurt and fruit or she might have uh, add some granola to that. She might make a tuna or egg salad sandwich. She enjoys a nice sandwich. Once in a while she'll go out with someone for lunch. She said, but when dinner time comes, she's not very hungry and she doesn't want to live on a bowl of cereal. So she's opted. She buys a bag like this and in on Sunday night she roasts the vegetables in the oven. She says, it's great. I, she said, I have a nice bowl of roasted vegetables for the rest of the week. And she says, I quite enjoy that. Well, it started me thinking that, like, for my family, we're a family of three. And that's quite, that's two pounds of vegetables. That's quite a bit if I were to use that as a side dish. So if I roast one bag of vegetables up, I can have a little bit of vegetables one night. I can always have some of my crusty bread on the side if we opted to do that and I could do some nice fish one night with it another night I could do these vegetables and I can do my crusty bread if I wanted and I might have a burger or I might have a, um, a piece of grilled chicken or I could have a piece of baked chicken or I could have a couple of slices of ham you could add any meat in a small amount and have these delicious roasted vegetables and if you wanted to have for a dollar bread on the side. That would make a great meal for a whole week and you wouldn't have to think. Now if you're a family of one, how good would that be to have these vegetables and you could just, you know, make a little bit of this and a little bit of that and then figure by Saturday night or Sunday night the end of the week comes and maybe you just have a few of these left over. You know what? Get some broth, get some bouillon, make yourself a base Add whatever leftover vegetables are already cooked and they're roasted so they're flavorful. You could throw in some onion flakes, onion powder, garlic powder. If you have a fresh onion, you can do that. If you have fresh celery, whatever you might have. And it could be all just things from your spice cabinet. If you have any leftover meat, throw it in there. If not, maybe throw some beans in there. Make yourself a pot of soup with whatever's left over. And again, if you have your crusty bread for $1, have a slice of bread with it you're good to go. These are the types of things that would not cost a whole lot of money. You figure for a bag of these vegetables for $5.46 for two pounds, that can last you all week, a family of one or small family, and a dollar loaf of bread, and then you just add bits and pieces to it. And if you have a fully stocked home and a fully stocked pantry, you're probably going to have cans of tuna, cans of chicken, cans of ham, or some chicken in the freezer that you could put on the grill, in the air fryer, bake in the oven, all of that. You're going to have those things already on hand that you can use and make a quick, easy, simple meal 
right from your pantry. I hope that gave you some ideas. Hope you try something like that at home. Let me know in the comments below what kind of quick and easy meals do you throw together that would just be absolutely yummy and delicious, but it came right from your pantry. Okay, thanks for coming over tonight, and don't forget, I will catch you all on the next video.